Succulents are famous for being extraordinarily hardy and surviving where other plants struggle. But they have a bit of a weakness. The majority of succulents need bright light to grow well and struggle in too much shade. Direct sun exposure triggers photosynthesis, which provides all succulents with growing energy and also maintains the shape and general health of not just succulents, but many other plants. No sun, no plants. If the sun suddenly disappeared, so would every plant on the earth. Having said that, short term, succulents will survive in little to no light. Just how long can differ from one succulent to another, but in general, they can last in complete darkness for up to a month. However, much deterioration to their appearance is going to happen after about 10 days. One of the ways my small nursery makes money is selling plants online and shipping them all over Australia. Now, Australia is a huge continent and so shipping can take over a week, especially when delivering to rural areas. I have owned my nursery for 10 years and been selling online for about 6 years and have done my experiments to see just how much individual succulents can take and how they change. In this video we will have a look at what happens to succulents when they are placed in dark and how long it takes before they start changing and dying. When succulents are exposed to the sun and get the amount of light they require, the leaves will grow compact and often colourful. These succulents are a perfect example. But take the sunlight away and these beautiful plants will slowly start changing and looking for light. Most succulents will even struggle indoors as the light levels are just not good enough in the majority of houses. There are some succulents such as Haworthia, Gasteria, Ripsalis, etc. that tolerate shade better, but even they will change in poor lighting. This is a good example of what can happen when a succulent is placed in poor light. Both these plants are cultivars called Echeveria lilatina garoto, and one is grown in full sun, while the other I have placed inside the house in a pretty dark hallway. There are no windows to the hallway, and the only light comes from the rooms and front door, which has glass blowing down the middle. It has only been two weeks and the leaves have already elongated, thinned and widened. The colour is gone too. The longer I leave this succulent in the dark, more it will change. The leaf will grow even paler and wider. The rosette will grow flatter, exposing the whole of the leaf and the middle will start growing out searching for light. About a month in, even sooner with some species or cultivars, the bottom leaves are likely to start dying and falling off. Eventually, the whole plant either rots or shrivels. In very little to no light, this will take about two months. This is an experiment I have done to be able to demonstrate what happens to succulents once they are placed in the dark. I took this photo on the 3rd of October last year. The Echeveria glauca is freshly potted up and is about to be placed on a very dark shelf in the house. Notice how compact the leaves are and the red tips. Here it is 11 days later on the 14th of October. The rosette is starting to open up, trying to get as much light as it can. The colour is also a little bit paler. Just 5 days later, on the 19th of October, the glauca has visibly elongated its leaves and grown flatter. Red tips are nearly gone as well. By the 9th of November, the leaves have flattened and become thinner. The red tips are now completely gone and the plant is much more pale. It is a far cry from the pretty compact succulent a month ago. It is still holding on and not looking too bad, but it is clear the lack of light is having an impact. This photo was taken at the end of November. The leaves are now shriveling as well as rotting. I have been very careful with watering and only watered once per month. The pot has a hole. The glauco is clearly not happy and is slowly starting to die off. By December 15, this is what is left of the poor Echeveria glauca. I felt really sorry for making this plant suffer and had decided to save what was left of it. I cut the top off and planted it as a cutting. It is now back to its former glory almost a year on. So this is what little to no light does to a succulent in about 2 months. Some plants will last longer and some will die much quicker. 
I've had similar results when I experimented on plants by putting them in a box in total darkness, though their demise was more swift, usually by a week or two. If you ever have to keep succulents in a very dark spot for whatever reason, try and limit the ordeal to about 10 to 14 days. After that, they can start changing appearance quite rapidly. There is only one way succulents can last long term in very little light and that is by giving them artificial light. Plant growing lights can come in LED or fluorescent form. LED will do the job but fluorescent lights tend to be a bit better for succulents. To get good enough light that will support succulents long term, a bulb that emits at least 2000 lumens should be used for about 14 hours each day. When it comes to fluorescent lights, do make sure there is enough space between the bulb and the plants as these lights can get quite hot and burn the leaves. To conclude, succulents are light-loving plants and most will need direct sun exposure to grow well. They will keep in a dark spot for about two weeks before their shape will start to go south and about two months before they start dying off. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to learn more about succulents you can subscribe to our channel or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you for watching!